Let's see the recent maritime accidents. General cargo ship Wenchang collided with Japanese fishing vessel on April 25 some 50 nautical miles north of Migata, Japan Sea. Ship was reportedly engaged in offshore cargo operation in collision area. After collision the ship sailed to Niijiata and anchored at Anchorage. Crude oil tanker Lea collided with general cargo ship DAFA No. 1 on April 26, 15 nanometers SE of Taitung Port, southeast Taiwan coast. Crew went into life raft and were rescued by Taiwanese CG patrol boat, all are safe. Ferry European Causeway deployed on Cairnrian, Larne, UK, Irish Sea. Suffered mechanical failure and went adrift on April 26. Blackout was mentioned, passengers were left in the dark, say media. Cargo ship Porto Natales lost cargo and barge overboard after secure lashings failed. Accident took place on April 24, en route from Juan Fernandez to Porto Mont, Chile. K.E. Barker ran aground in Lake Michigan, while entering Muskegon port. Refloat on April 29, and anchored off port. Understood grounding was caused by low water levels. Bulk carrier Yamtadai, in load, alighted with Piers 30 and 29 corner at Taichung Port, Taiwan. Hull breach in midship area, 1 meter length hole or slash, is above waterline, so there's no water ingress. Cargo ship Peak Bremen strayed off course while transiting Kiel Canal in northern direction, en route from UK to Sweden. No serious damages reported. On May 3, the ship was sailing in Baltic Sea NW of Rugen. Bulk Magic Seas, North Atlantic, from Corpus Christi to Europa Point, ETA April 16. AHS Tug ALP winger assigned for towage? Tug track is missing, AIS is missing during last 12 hours. Cargo ship contacted Silo Constructions at Reef, Port of Hamburg. Both Silo and the ship sustained damages, Rick's Crystal also alighted with Dolphin. Ship was taken to Kuwerterhofen, Hamburg, and as of May 4 remained in Hamburg. Captain of bulk carrier Korn lost overboard on May 2nd in Java Sea north of Bali Island. Miraculously, he was found and rescued by local fishermen on May 5th, and transported to hospital. According to reports, he survived by clinging to a piece of wood. Tug Anglian Lady ran aground on Badal Shoals west of Sioux Locks, St. Mary's River, Great Lakes. Caravan is en route from Sault Ste. Marie to Calumet. On May 5th caravan or barge was still aground. Bulk carrier Arclo Spray ran aground in Paraná River off Romayo, Argentina. Ship managed to refloat by own means some two hours after grounding. Tug seen nearby as ship remained in the same position as of May 5. Greek Cape-sized bulk carrier Fletcha alighted with pier at Yonghyun Power Plant, Incheon, Korea. Ship was loaded with coal, she suffered 4-meter-long hull slash above waterline. Several months repairs are required to make pier operable again. Yulia suffered mechanical failure on May 5 south of Basos Island, northern Aegean Sea. Ship was taken on tow and towed to Mia Kervali, Kavala Anchorage, she was anchored there early in the morning May 6. Chemical tanker Gulf Petroleum 4, undergoing maintenance repairs at Tuzla, Turkey, suffered explosion and leak of carbon dioxide from one of cylinders. Five or four people were poisoned by gas, understood at least four of them are crew members. Fire erupted in cargo hold of General Cargo Ship NS Sabina, docked at Ortona, Italy. Ship had to shift berths to move away from nearby ships, including tanker. Some cargo had to be offloaded in order to get access to hold and fire bed. Roro Ship. Pelican reported to MRCC Corson, France, water ingress in Biscay Bay. Helicopter delivered a team of technicians to help with the problem. Permata Asia cargo ship Permata Asia sank on May 7 north of Sanjiang Island, Bima, West Nusa Tenggara, Lesser Sunda Islands, Indonesia. All 18 crew rescued, all are safe. The loaded ship with cement reported water ingress in engine room. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, drop it in comments section. Subscribe to Marin Aura for more updates.